All right, so I'm going to show you how to dump uh, your key from your Xbox 360 Slim or S or whatever. <clears throat> you got to have a 9504 drive or a uh, 0225 drive. Uh, I don't know if it works with any other drives. Uh, basically, <clears throat> excuse me, all you need is a USB uh, to ID and SATA uh, cable. And then you need this card here. Uh, this is a uh, a VIA six four two one PCI card. Uh, it's a SATA card, and you need a PC. That's all you need. No need for any other tools. No uh, USB Pro. Anything. This is all you need. Any PC. Uh, make sure your PC has a PCI slot before you buy this card. Uh, this card's about. Four dollars on eBay. Uh, this cable here is probably around five, six dollars. Not sure. Um, so yeah, this is all you need. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. <clears throat> so basically, just install this card on your PC. Once this card is installed on your PC, you're gonna um, install this uh, SATA cable here. You're gonna uh, plug it in here to this slot, and I'll show you. I'll do that when we get there. So give me one second here. Okay, so go ahead and install the, the PCI card on your on your PC. Now what you want to do is get your Xbox, take it apart. You know, if you don't know how to do it, look it up on YouTube. And um, then basically what you do is you're gonna get the ID to USB cable, whatever, and you're gonna plug it into a USB port at the back, like so. And you're going to plug in the SATA cable here, like that. And then this here, you're going to plug it into your to your drive. So you're going to have to unplug your drive from the board. So, so it looks something like that. And then make sure you have this white cable here. This is your power. Make sure that's plugged in. So basically, you have a. Uh, should look like this. Basically. All right. So leave that. Leave that connected like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna once you have the PCI card installed on your computer, turn on your computer, and then you know let it boot up or whatever. And then once the machines boot up. What you're gonna do is um, you open up Jungle Flasher on the PC, and then you turn on your Xbox. Okay. Once you turn it on, um, you know just unplug this cable here, from right here, and then you plug it into the PCI card on that slot I showed you earlier, and that should be it. And then just go on Jungle Flasher, and it should show up. And then just grab the key. So let me get this started here for you. Okay, so once you have your computer all turned on and ready to go, um, plug in the power to your Xbox. Make sure you have all the cables plugged in like I showed you. And basically just uh, turn on your Xbox. See that? So it's turned on, everything's plugged in. And all you gotta basically do is you unplug this cable here and you plug it into the card. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But before you do that, make sure you uh, run Jungle Flash on your PC. Alright, so now you have Jungle Flasher turned on, the Xbox is turned on, so all you do is you plug this cable here, like so, and you plug it into the card. Alright, so give me one second, I'm going to try to do this here with one hand.
See that? It's not too clear, but you get the idea. So now you come over here to Jungle Flasher. Okay. And you go to DVD key there. Alright. And then refresh this. Can you see that? I just saw my drive right there. Alright, so you hit Slinky. It says you want to unlock. You say no. And it's gonna go ahead and you know look for the key or whatever. So you just give it a second. I already found the key. Okay, here we go. All right, so now this is gonna come out, and you say you do want to save it. So hit save, and yeah, I'm just gonna say yes because I already have it on there. But you say yes, and then you'll get another one. You say yes, you get you'll get about three or four of them, and say yes to all of them, like I am. All right, and then just wait for the drive there. And this is what you need here. Dummy dot bin. That's what you need for your X key. So make sure you save this. So hit save. Then you'll get this, and you say no. All right. So once you say no to that, you can go ahead and close Jungle Flasher. You'll get this lock here and just say yes, save it. Alright, so now as you can see there. I have let's see one, two, three, four, five uh, bin files, including including the dummy dot bin which is needed for the X key. That's what you want there. So basically now you can just uh, do this process, you know, do it three or four times if you want just to double check and, make, and check the log there on the jungle flash and make sure that you know you got the right key and they all match just to be on the safe side and that's it once you have that dummy key there just put it away save all the files not just that one back them up just in case your drive goes bad or something and you need and you know you need to put a new drive you'll need that key uh, so save it somewhere and uh, don't forget where you put it all right